so ironic. Some people love to just highlight his compassion as if he would never point out sin. And other people just like to point out his, his fiery sermons, his, his going after the people. The Bible paints a picture of both. We see the lamb, but we see the lion. You see the savior, but you see the judge. You see the servant, but you see the king. And someday, the Bible says, the armies of heaven will follow after him. The armies of heaven will follow after him, and he will tread the winepress and the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he will have a name written on his right thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Just think about that. All hell, King Jesus. You worship King Jesus. You're saved. You're set free. You're a child of God. Should we not do great exploits for God? And people, it's, it's, it, but in America, though, we're worried. Because people do tell me this is changed. You better, you might die someday for your faith. Yes, I might. Welcome to Christianity. It's a religion of suffering. The blood of the martyrs is what planted the seeds. Not these pastors with million dollar homes and jets. The martyrs planted the seeds of the church. You might die for your faith. Do you know why? It's called boldness in the midst of adversity. It's called contending for truth in a postmodern culture. Listen, I have a word for the governor of New York and California. You better repent before Almighty God because we have the blood of innocent children on our hands. Get back to worshiping God and seeking God with all of your heart, with all of your strength. That is our only hope. That's our only hope. You've just heard a timeless truth from Pastor Shane Eidelman at Westside Christian Fellowship. Find more at westsidechristianfellowship.org. That's westsidechristianfellowship.org. Take cool, touch my lips, yeah.